Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button um, and also click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, if you're not part of the Chatterbox membership, please make sure you join by clicking the link in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join and it is $1.99 a month. Um, this membership helps support my channel and all that I do. Thank you guys and also um, I just wanted to come on really quick and sneak in a video and show you guys my new baby. I have not decided on a name just yet. Um, I did was thinking of Micah but um, my son and his girlfriend saw him um, and he was like no he can't be a Micah. So, not Michael, but Micah. So then I said Mikey, and they said that looked cute for him, but that's not a real name. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm not totally set on what his name going to be, but it has to be something cute. Um, this baby um, actually is the Warren Sculpt by Laura Tuzura Ross. And um, he is about I think he's supposed to be about 17 inches he's a really good size because that is a zero to one month um, which um, some stuff varies in size so um, I think he'd still be able to wear preemie or new small newborn size clothes but he's um he's a really good size and um but what I wanted to say a special shout out to my sis in the community which is Stacy from Gianna's Baby's Reborn World or World Gianna's Baby's World Reborn <laughs> one or the other I always mix it up but um she actually uh sent me this kit because she actually have one that was made that was painted by another artist and so she actually sent me this kit and as a gift as a uh, congratulations for my first prototype um, which guys I will be doing I also have a second prototype coming up um, but I can't give any details on that as of yet but look for that as well um, but anyway great things is, is happening here um, but I wanted to show you guys him and let me let me get a little closer so first let me also say thank you to my mommy for the hat <laughs> that hat is barely fitting him look like it's falling off now um but she got some little hats from somebody and she washed them up and she gave them to me um because she said they would probably fit me um i mean my babies or whatever and so there are some and i'm going to show them to you guys in a minute but um came in handy for him because he has a little little tiny head oh my gosh i love this baby um the thing is i i found that i've been exploring lots of different kits and different sculptors and i think that we get so stuck on all the the popular ones and we never explore and so i've been finding some really you know kind of rare sculpts that people not everybody has and um just been really enjoying it and this baby is so beautifully sculpted like he has little gums he has a tongue like it's so cute um I love the way that Laura um sculpted this baby like he looks so realistic and I'm actually gonna do something with his eyelashes he has a few left in there but I need to root them but anyway um so he's full limbs he has full arms full legs um so I did he's a baldy for now um so I did quite a bit of little things on him I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it but I'm going to change him out let me see what you guys can see like because he's my baby I was able to explore a little bit more or I do little silly stuff to my babies because I like hyper realism so he has like a lot of different colorings in his face and um, because he's preemie and so and then he has baby acne on his cheek but you guys can't see that and he has a little bit of baby acne on his face so I mean on his nose and so it's and it's textured so it's pretty 
pretty cool. I did a different type of um, uh, matting for him this time that I don't normally do. So he doesn't have as much of a shine that my other babies normally have. Because I wanted him to just look, you know, powder fresh, so to speak. So yeah, so he is... Oh, sorry guys. Um, So yeah, I was playing with him. So yeah, so he has a lot of different little things. I won't point every single thing out. Um, But he does have veining and so on and so forth. But sometimes I kind of wish I would have got him a belly if I would, he had a belly plate. But I don't really use him a whole lot, but only for photos. Because he looks so real. Like, his sculpting. And so, he is a special baby. He is a keeper. He is a forever baby for me. Um, I don't know if you guys know. And I, I know she didn't mean for me to have to keep him. Um, I could have easily painted him and sold him um but I don't know if you guys know this about me I'm kind of funny about when somebody give me something um which like I have a Jonah kit that Tia sent me all the way from the UK I believe she's in the UK and when I paint that baby he will also be a keeper um but I I'm I'm funny about my gifts I like to keep my gifts so anyway, I'm going to take this off. And he has like a little, his head is so narrow and cute. Like when I got the sculpt out of the, the, um, the pack when, I mean the box when I first got him, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Cause he looks so different in person versus the photos that I had seen of him. Not, I mean, like I said, the, the prototypes that I seen was really cute. But what I'm saying is, is that I didn't realize that he was this um, small but he has like some fat to his thighs and like I said he's a really still a really good size it's just I didn't realize he was gonna look the way he looked like his face is a little bit more narrow than I than I expected which ended up being a good thing like it was a good different and he can tend to kind of put his little thumb in his mouth too so I really like that too <laughs> like you want to suck your tummy <laughs> so anyway um just to you know switch things up let me see what he looks like I haven't tried to give him like a bottle or anything which this is not the right kind of bottle I would need to get the kind that you can like so I need one of my ones that you really squish this don't really squish like that it's not made for that it's made to go <clears throat> actually inside the mouth so you need a soft nipple but that's okay I'm gonna get him just put him on just a little onesie and he slept in my room in the little um, cradle thingy and oh my god when are you gonna walk in and see him in that cradle he looks so freaking real um I just I'm just like oh my gosh like his coloring came out really nice I I am exploring some different colors with my babies. So although on camera they may look a little bit similar to what I normally paint, I am switching things up and in person they look a lot different. Um, you know, you just want to kind of do your own thing. And I just love to have my own little style of, and skin tones that I try to reach but the thing is if, if you're if you get close even close to a realistic skin tone you're not gonna own it because guess what if it's realistic and people are also going for realist realism they're gonna come up with the same color or similar colors so this is another little hat this one is a bigger than the one he had on so it fits him much better um oh i didn't show you guys the back of his little diaper his diaper is so cute let me show you guys um this is diaper came from auntie cassandra and i really loved the print it's preemie 
and it is Winnie the Pooh. Let me see. You guys see. It's Winnie the Pooh. Can you see that? <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm a, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly the um hats that my mommy sent gave me. Um and I said mommy, but I don't call my mommy mommy. I, I mean my mom. I call her mama. <laughs> I'd be like mama, ma, ma. I say ma a lot. Um but yeah. My kids called me mommy, but I don't I've never been a mommy. I'm seeing that. So we got this little hats, a bunch of little knit hats. This and when I get a really, really tiny one, I can use this one. So they were really little because of course we were expecting twin preemie in the family. But by the time these came they my grandbaby is head is too big for these things now. But yeah, these are for some girls maybe. I really like this one, it was really colorful. And then this, it's, I don't know, that one can't kind of count the loose, but we can, there we go. So, I don't know, like, are you guys seeing it? Yeah. And then I got a little one. So, yeah. So, lots of little, little hats for my little babies when they, as they come. And I want to, and especially for him, because it'll be a while before he get rooted. Guys, I barely have time to breathe right now. I have so much going on. Um, he is the last reborn that I'll paint for a few, a little while as I am doing away with my reborn table so that I can expand it for silicone. And, um, so I won't be able to, um, paint any reborns right at the moment. If I do, I have to paint in another area and I really don't want to get, lose my changing table again because I, I did do it at my changing table before um but yeah i i need all the space because of the silicone babies that i have to work on but yeah so he is like i said i really really i really really love 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 him did i crack my nail i did no i didn't that's a so yeah so that's that's my little one guys tell me what you think he looks like name wise like he has this um I'll be honest he has like a funny looking cute like he's he's so funny looking to he's cute if that makes sense that's what my we used to say about the babies but he is so cute like he is like the cutest my, my son said he looks like um Van Diesel the rock and in person when you see him he does <laughs> And it's so funny. He looks like a mini rock. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But he's definitely, definitely a keeper. Even if he wasn't a gift, he would be a keeper for me. I love the little babies, especially right now. I'm really loving the little babies. And, like I said, that's, he's, he can fit small newborns. So I really like that. But yeah, anyway guys, I just wanted to pop in and show you guys little Mr. Mr. Newbie that I've been carrying around and enjoying for the last 24 hours. But um, you guys will see more for him, of him. I'll have to shop for him, specifically him and Phoenix. Um, and I'll have to get a picture of him and Phoenix together. I think he's he's much lighter than Phoenix. Maybe not a whole, whole lot, but he is lighter than Phoenix. But, yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit. Like I said. That's my little, little. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You got to love this. Like, yeah. I think this is one of my favorite Laura Tudoros kits. Like, um, Anthony was another one, but this one, this face, the mouth, I mean, like, I really, 
love the little gums and stuff in there like that's really cool but anyway that is that and i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye bye